this window here, we have depicted uh, the crucifixion of our Lord. And this is probably my favorite window. Uh, I love to look over at this window during the Mass. When I walk through the cathedral, this is always the window that stands out to me. Uh, what do we have depicted in this window? Uh, right at the bottom, and if I be lifted up from the earth, will draw all things to myself. Here is Jesus, who within his chest is his heart, and his heart is the heart of the world. This heart draws the world forward in history, and this heart draws, is trying to draw all of history, including every one of our hearts, to himself, to be with him in heaven, uh, to, to love him uh, for eternity. Uh, looking at uh, the window depicting the crucifixion, uh, we see uh, written in the Latin, uh, from, the, from the Latin Vulgate, uh, consumatum est, right? It is consummated. Uh, these are uh, the words uh, coming from our Lord's mouth at the very, very end of his life. What does he mean here? What Jesus means to say is really the intention of the priest at every Mass. And so I love to look over and see this depiction of the crucifixion and those words consumatum est. Consumatum est, it is consummated. We often see uh, in most uh, translations of this line from the Gospel of John, we see it translated it is finished, uh, or we could say it is completed. Uh, what is completed? What is completed is the Passover sacrifice. We know if we go back to uh, the Last Supper, which began on the evening of Holy Thursday, the liturgy, the Passover liturgy, has not been completed. Only three of the four chalices that would have been consumed during that Passover liturgy were consumed. As the disciples are going from the, the upper room to the garden at Gethsemane, uh, uh, where, where Jesus will pray and will sweat blood, we know that they're singing uh, uh, a, uh, uh, an acclamation that comes within the middle of the Passover liturgy. This liturgy is not completed. Jesus says, uh, right, I will not drink of the fruit of the vine until the Son of Man comes uh, into glory or into his kingdom. Um, sure enough, Jesus refuses to drink anything until he finally, at the very end, accepts the sponge dipped in vinegar, wine gone bad. He drinks of the, the vinegar, which shows the completion of this fourth cup. And then he says, it is finished. The sacrifice has been finished. We also see reference to marriage, right? A marriage is completed, especially coming from the Germanic sense of what marriage is in the consummation where the two, uh, where the male and female come together and the union where the two become one flesh. When Jesus gives himself on the cross, as he gives himself to the point of death, he has given himself completely to his bride, who is the church. This marriage between Christ the bridegroom and his church, who is the bride, is consummated through the total giving of himself. Uh, as we see, this love that he gives his church is stronger than even death. Death does not end this love. As Jesus' side is pierced, blood and water pour forth, symbolizing Christ's bride, the church, uh, the, the, new, the new Eve being drawn from his side. The church is born from his side, and he gives her the last contents of his heart. Uh, but we, as we know, that heart is not dead. It will rise from the dead. Uh, Christ is alive. Uh, he rises and his love continues. And it continues as he gives from his side to the church in water, in baptism, and in blood, in the Eucharist, 
and in any of the sacraments which draw their power from Christ's crucifixion.